But it's always the cutest thing when kids just go, oh, fire truck dog. Kensley thinks she's a lap dog, even though she's 65 pounds. She's a very sweet, loving, very loving dog. After going to the park, she was acting normal and fine. And then later that evening, had coughed up a little bit of blood. So we called the emergency vet and asked them, is this normal, should I be concerned? That evening, she did take a big turn for the worse. She was struggling to breathe. And that's when I called the vet again and was like, I think there's something really wrong. It was amazing how drastically she changed in just a few hours. She was very active and, and happy and then very lethargic and not moving. They did an x-ray of her lungs and they realized that she did have clots lung. To really investigate what was wrong with her lung, they needed a CT scan. So they referred me to Doug Lewis. Hensley came into us with chest x-rays. These films showed collapsed lung on both sides and some fluid within the chest between the lung and the body wall where there shouldn't be any fluid. The next step was to take her to do a CT scan or computed tomography scan. We could see the collapsed lung in this patient. We could also see thin, bright areas in this abnormal lung that were thought to be grasshorns. They stick to everything that walks by them they can migrate into the skin. Dogs will also breathe them into their lungs like Kensley did, and then travel all the way to the edge of the lung and through the lung. That's when the lung collapses. When I was giving Kensley over to Doug Lewis, it was very frightening. Any surgery is risk, but I did know she was in good hands. One of the real advantages in this case was we had our brand new 64 slice CT machine. Our old machine did one slice at a time, and a, a case like this would probably be about 45 minutes. This machine's able to take 64 slices within a half a second. The actual scan took less than 10 seconds. I consulted with the surgeon. We were able to take the patient right to surgery and get this fixed right away. Kensley was able to recover very quickly. She was up and eating the next day. And two days later, she was able to go home. After Kensley came out of surgery, there was a massive relief to just have our pup back with us. Your dog looks to you to protect them. You do whatever you can to make sure they are safe, but sometimes it's out of your hands. When the vets told me that they were taking a chunk of Kensley's lung out, it, it really just concerned me of like, what is her lifestyle gonna be like? Kensley just loves to chase the ball. She wants to run, she wants to go fast. And so the fact that she can still do that, it just makes me feel good. We had a lot of people in the community come together to donate for this state-of-the-art CT scanner. This has been a game changer for us. This donation really has made a lot of difference in a lot of patients' care. I don't see how Kinsley could be alive if we didn't have that machine. I'm so thankful to the donors. We don't deserve dogs. Yeah. Look at their unconditional love. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just the best. They're like the best companion. They don't expect anything from you. All they do is give.